Well, g'day everybody and thanks for joining me. Well, on today's video, we're going to be going into Da Vinci to see if we can actually isolate a sky and get a little bit more detail out of it. Well, uh, during the week I was on a video call with a couple of other drone pilots and a big, big B Mac aerials was involved. And uh, I just showed him a little bit that I do within Da Vinci uh, to stuff around with the skies in it. And uh, he was very interested in it. And he said, you know what, you should do a tutorial on this. And I thought, well, why not? So here we are. Okay, so a lot of you are aware that uh, I do shoot with uh, D-Log M within uh, the uh, Mavic 2 Pro, and uh, I love that. Um, so it does require a little bit of color grading. Uh, what I'll do today is just uh, grade one really quickly in uh, in one node, and uh, just to get some color into it so uh, we know what we're working with. So the first thing I actually do is uh, go into saturation now in DaVinci uh, 16. Um, you've got uh, one and two down here. You go into one, and just across here, you've got uh, saturation. Uh, so what I generally do is just pump that straight up to 75 and that gives me a good idea <clears throat> of what we're working with okay of course you know you're going to get a little bit of contrast in here as well um and uh, there's a few ways of doing that uh we'll just stick with this at the moment we'll just get the s curve in here that's uh under the curves uh button there and we'll just give it a little bit of contrast warm it up a little bit and uh, what i do then is going to number two right here and uh, you've got your mid-tone detail uh, and what i do is i pump that little bit up so if i go to 100 there you see how much detail pops up take it all the way out looks like a dream and then you pop that back up and get some more detail okay so i'm going to go to the extremes of everything today just so you can see exactly what everything's doing so i'll leave that there at uh, 98.5 okay so that was just a quick grade in one node normally i'd uh, stuff about with it a little bit more but what we're interested in here is the sky now what we want to do first and foremost is go over to your nodes here now as you can see there's one node here which i've just done a, a very light grade on um, what you want to do is put another node in there so what you go down onto your keyboard and push shift s and that starts up another node and you want to right click on that and node label now where we're going to be going uh, in DaVinci is down here now there's all sorts of goodies here which uh, DaVinci's got to offer but what we're interested in today is this one here the little eyedropper and that will get you into the qualifier and what we'll do is go back over to the node we'll right click on that and go node label and I'll just uh, QAL just a bit of an abbreviation on that so now uh, that's what we're going to be working in that node there now first and foremost make sure that that node is highlighted make sure it's got a red square around it uh, because uh, if it hasn't then you're not working in that node so what we're going to do is as I said click on that so now within the uh, frame here, you've got the little eyedropper. And what you want to do is go up to the sky and just left click, boom. What's it done? Absolutely nothing. Well, not really. If you go up the top here and you go up to that little icon there, just click on that. Right. Now, what that does is actually highlight where you're actually going to be working. Now, down the bottom here within the qualifier, you've got hue, saturation and luminance. Now, we're not going to worry about hue and saturation today. Uh, we're just going to be dealing with this luminance at the moment. So uh, I'll just just generally drag that across there like that. Now, this slider here, if you move it over to the left, you start to get more of the image exposed, which we don't want. The more image that you're exposed there, uh, the more is going to change when you actually start doing uh, your, uh, your grading within the sky. So what you want to do is uh, drop that as far as you can. And what you want to do is get a nice balance between the outline of uh, those mountains uh, and the sky itself. So as I move that back the other way, you can just see the land starting to disappear. And I reckon around about, around about there should do. Okay, so what you want to do now is uh, go back up the top here. And you see that little icon we pushed earlier? We'll push that one again. And that'll bring your image back up to where it was. Right, so now what we're going to do is do some changes to the sky. Every change we do now will only affect that sky um, because we're using that qualifier node there. So here we go. Now, first and foremost, I suppose, get down there and go to your mid-tone detail again and just pump that back up. We go to 100. You can see the detail pop back up in those clouds a little bit. If we go to minus 100 totally disappears looks a little bit foggy so i'll just check that straight back up to 100 or once again now what we'll do now is we'll just get a little bit of um a little bit of tone to it you know so we'll go back in 
to that there into the curves and uh, we'll start stuffing about with that a little bit we'll just start to bring that color down a bit and a little bit of highlight there now i'll just show you this because you can you can change that that sky to any color you like now if if you were to do this and you go into your color wheels just for example say we'll go into gain here um and we start moving that around have a look at that sky you can do anything you like with it hey pretty cool my goodness without affecting the rest of the image now just a quick tip too if you have been stuffing around with these uh with these um these uh, color wheels here um and you're finding it difficult to get it back into dead center all you gotta do is click on the one you want to get back to the center and you just double click boom and off it goes straight back into the center again um now as i said you can change your colors you can do anything you like there um i'll just get that up there get that down there yeah, that's nice. And what I will do is I'll stuff around with this. Now, as I said, I'm going to go to extremes here. Now, as I pull that down, it's starting to get more and more. It look, looks like a bloody storm coming in. But the further you go, the faker it looks. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's a very definite line there between the mountains and the sky now, and it does look a little bit fake. So just stuff around with that a bit, bring it back, and get it to a point where... You're happy with it okay we'll leave it there just for uh, just for this the today's sake now uh, over here you can look at uh, the before and after so what you want to do is uh, on that uh, qualifier node there you can push on that and that's without and uh, we'll push it again and that's what we've done have a look at that look at the detail back in that sky again amazing stuff fantastic program this da vinci let me tell you but anyway let's leave it there and uh, hopefully this has helped somebody out if you've got uh, any questions or anything like that chuck them in the comments below if you want any more tutorials uh, about da vinci uh, let me know in the comments as well because i'd be more than happy to uh, share uh, anything that i know about da vinci you know i don't profess to be any you know guru when it comes to da vinci i'm still learning uh, but uh, any ideas that you might have that can improve me to whack them down there because I'd, I'd love to know but anyway as usual have a fantastic week won't you and hopefully i'll see everybody on the next one ciao